are what the youth what the youth and the parents need to do and prepare second tasks of the counselors head ACs and the ACs and their accountabilities number three is schedule already will give you a superficial information of how we'll go through the entire FSY event five day event and then we'll have we'll introduce to you our teachers who are here with us they will be talking with you youth and parents for a minute or two just to let everyone know what they're expecting from us no so they they'll have the time later to to share what they're expecting from each one of us so we will be successful with this event Ayan. So to start, we will be presenting to you the Big Five. I know most of you here are familiar with this. No, kasi na discuss na to sa previous, previous, previous FSY pre FSY trainings. No, but we will just like to bring it up again. No, especially for those na mag face to face. No, and I hope everybody will listen. Yes, I hope everybody will listen, especially youth counselors. Please do listen, as this would be. Ito talaga yung, kaya nga tinawag siya na big five. Kasi na ito yung mga important rules na kailangan natin ma, 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 maalala. No? So sabi nga dito, any involvement sa big five will result to being sent home immediately. Or not participating for those who are doing virtual. Yeah, or not participating for those who are on virtual mode. So number one. Participating in or encouraging immoral behavior of any kind, including breaking the law of chastity or view viewing pornography in any form. So we know that you were, um, di ba? You were in contact with your counselor. So if ever no, na meron meron kayong in any form of this, no, we will, uh, you will not be allowed to participate, no, sa FSY shoplifting, theft, or vandalism of any kind, breaking the word of wisdom, including possession of illegal substances, possess possessing weapons or firearms of any kind, and doing anything harmful to yourself or others physically or spiritually. So masyado siyang ano no, parang bugat na ba kayo siya no, but if 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 in any case no, you were involved in any of this, no, we encourage our youth, our counselors, our leaders to to talk to their respective leaders, no, to their bishops, and talk to them and tell them about these things, no. And we know na man, we know that this would greatly help you personally and your 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 spirituality as well, no. Because very very important, diba? We always remind you na. During this pre-FSY, we want you to be prepared spiritually kasi yun yung magiging, magiging tool natin para maging effective yung ating FSY. Ayan. Ayan. So number one, ano ba yung kailangan i-prepare or gawin ng mga parents at ng mga youth? No? Meron na lang tayong one week. We have eight days more to go before FSY. Ayan. So nakalagay dito, did you know knowledge carefully recorded is knowledge available in time of need. So as much as possible, no lahat ng matutunan natin sa FSY isusulat natin siya. You will, in your kit, you will be provided with a journal or a notebook and a pen where you can write down all your thoughts, everything that you will be learning from our teachers who will we who na introduce namin mamaya sa Inyo. So lahat yun, you can record it in your journal, in your notebook, no? because it will always be available in time of need. Sabi ni Elder Richard G. Scott. And ngayon, no, I know na each counselor group and each company conducts um, daily scripture study. Alam ko, nag-group nag study kayo. No? You, you do scripture study by your counselor group and by your company. So whatever you learn, from your ates and kuyas no, sa, mga, sa mga meetings you with them, ngayon, pre-FSY, you can always record them. So that, that you can always bring it with you, no? Wherever you are, and it will always be available. 
every time na kailangan nyo siya. Minsan magpa-pop up lang yan sa mind nyo. Ay, o oh, pala, ito pala yung sinabi ni sisters ganito, ni brother ganito. Ito pala yung kailangan ko na gawin ngayon. Before we go there, I think my wife was able to miss this one. Ay. Uh, it says here, uh, one of the things that we need to do as youth uh, is we will invite a friend to seminary. It's going to be enrollment, right? For the next yes. seminary this semester. And at youth, please bring a friend to seminary. So wherever we are, whether the mode of your seminary class be virtual or face-to-face, -face, bring a friend to seminary. I know seminary enrollment is going on. Uh, yes. No? Classes yeah. will start next week, if we're not mistaken. Yes, yeah, September. Oh, September. Yeah. Okay. So for the youth, no, your safety is your priority. For those who will be doing, since hybrid ta, ang FSY natin, no, merong mag-face-to-face, -to -face, merong mag-virtual. So for those who will be doing a face-to-face -face <coughs> FSY, I hope na nag-start na kayo sa self-quarantine ninyo. Diba we were requiring, the area was requiring to do a two-week self-quarantine. So I hope nag-start na kayo, no? One week na lang kasi, nag-start na yung self-quarantine ninyo. Meron pa kayong one week. As much as possible, stay at home since youth are not allowed to go out, no? As much as possible, sa bahay na lang talaga tayo. Huwag na tayong lumabas. So, any semblance of sickness should be resolved as up. Contact your leader if in any case, you feel sick in whatever form. So, tell your ates and kuya, ate, kuya, kanang giubo ko pa ron. So, or marag, lain akong lawas. O, oh, lain akong pamati. Uh -huh. oh, no, marag, nalipong-lipong ko. So please inform your ates and your kuyas. I know nga namo yung mga GC, so you can always tell them no how you feel so that they would also know no ko and they could also help you know what to do para pag-abot sa FSY no kanang healthy tatanan no dili ta we will not be we will not get in contact with with youth na kanang naay mga sakit. I think we do not realize the gravity of the problem if we will not be honest. If we will not be honest in telling to our leaders that we actually feel sick already, but still we went to church, we do not know the intensity and the gravity of the problems no, that, that will arise just because we were honest. Um, it's very big. No? Um, mabigat talaga ang mangyayari. The church will have to go in uh, to situations like this because uh, this is an... A, and you know a worldwide problem uh what's this coronavirus is a worldwide problem we do not want this to happen among ourselves so please be very honest youth ha mag magsulti uh just really be honest with your, your ates and kuyas no i know na gina, gina check up mo nila every day no so please tell them no we don't want you to to be sick no especially to those who who will be going to the chapel on monday so anyone who will go against the safety protocol will be subject to be interviewed by our leaders no use your participants handbook each one of you will be given inside your kit will is also your participants handbook make sure that during the five day event you will utilize what is given in the kit for your convenience so, gamitin lahat ng nasakit kasi lahat ng nasakit talagang ano yun siya, magagamit nyo for the entire FSY. Whether you would be in your face-to-face -face FSY or sa bahay kayo doing virtual FSY, yung kit nyo would really be of use. No? So, use it. Ayan. Stay awake. Mm -hmm. Stay awake. Stay awake. There might be dull situations along the way. In one of the yan, in one of the speeches at Brigham Young University in Utah, President Henry B. Irving, no one of the apostles or president of the church, they shared a Sunday meeting experience with his dad. With his dad. This so, is the moment, no, when when he thought a speaker is very boring. Ayan, yeah. no. So during parang one church Sunday, no, they were in a sacrament meeting, and, and then. Yung parang pagod, na pagod, na pagod na siya. Sabi pa niya, parang wala man talaga tong ano, hindi ko man talaga maintindihan. Boring man talaga to ang speaker natin. And then, he turned to his dad. To his amazement, nakita niya yung dad niya, 
fully engaged sa speaker, nakasmile, talagang entertained na entertained yung papa niya. And then, then he thought of, bakit entertain yung papa ko? Eh, ako, I was really, I'm really bored, no, listening to this, to this speaker. So, on their way home, no, kasi yung, yung, yung chapel nila, malapit na yung bahay nila, they just walked home. On their way home, no, he, he got the courage to talk to his father about what happened during sacrament meeting. And then he told him, no, Elder uh, President Irene told him, told his father of his experience, how he, he did not like or how he got bored with, with the speaker. No? And ito yung sinabi ng papa niya. Youth, I want you to listen. Sabi pa niya, Hal, let me tell you something. Since I was very young, I have taught myself to do something in, in a church meeting. When the speaker begins, I listen carefully and ask myself, what is he trying to say? No? Then once I think I know what he's trying to accomplish, I give myself a sermon on that subject. He let that sink in for a moment as he walked along. Then, with that special self-depreciating chuckle of his, he said, Hal, since then, I have never been to a bad meeting. No? Napaka-amazing nung tatay niya, no? Yun lang yung ginawa niya. Every time there's a speaker, he would listen carefully. And then, ano yung gagawin niya? He would really think of ano yung gusto i-convey na message ng speaker. And because of that, he never had any boring session in church. No? So youth, can we do the same? Pwede ba natin gawin yung same na ginagawa ng tatay ni Elder Ehring? Right. Counselors. Counselors too, no? Kasi counselors, maminaw man pod mo. So can you do the same? Basig una pa mo matulog sa to ang mga youth, ha? So, sabi niya dito, I am sure that this requires a lot of practice, prayer, humility, and faith. But it can be done. So, walay impossible. Sabi na ni Brother Rafi kanina, nothing is impossible. Everything can be done. However, before it can be done, we must understand that we need to listen even to the words of a seemingly boring talk. No? President Erin shared two reasons. You and I need a check on your own, on our own inspiration occasionally. We can be mistaken. We at times, even with real intent and with faith and with careful prayer, may come to wrong conclusions. Listening to others can provide correction. It can promote more careful consideration. I hope you will always remember that there is safety in counsel. So yan yung first, no? Second, I can think of another reason why we are blessed to be required to be taught by other human beings. For me, that is made clear in the first section of the Doctrine and Covenants, which says that the fullness of my gospel might be proclaimed by the weak and the simple unto the ends of the world and before kings and rulers. No? Itong mga speakers natin, itong mga teachers natin, they have been preparing a lot. No? We invited them um, a few, few weeks ago, a month ago, no, bi, bi, binigay na namin yung topic sa kanila. And they have been preparing no, for this FSY. And later on, they would be sharing with you no, ano yung ini-expect nila na, na gawin natin no, for this FSY during the, their, their, their sessions. No? And I know that we will be learning a lot of things. Remember, sa previous devotional natin, etong FSY na to, ano ba yung reason Bakit nag-FSY tayo? Bakit pinupush yung FSY natin? It is because our leaders would want us no, to strengthen our testimony of our Savior Jesus Christ. No? To draw closer to the Savior. Yan yung ultimate goal natin. And to be able to achieve things. No? Yung 4,600 missionary, serve full-time missions, be prepared to enter the temple. No? Build families. So yan yung gusto nating ma-achieve. And we can only achieve that if we would listen intently to our speakers. No, There won't be any boring speakers, boring teachers, if we would follow this counsel by Elder Irene. Very nice. <clears throat> Youth and counselors, we have an activity right now. Let's have an activity. It's called a waterfall activity. So, tanan nga, youth, put your hands on your keyboard or your key, keypad on your cell phone. 
Counselors do the same. I will give you 30 seconds to think of ways na dili mo mabore during sessions. Type it in the chat box. The moment I say go, click enter at the same time. Your 30 seconds of thinking and typing start now. Go. Okay. Sige daw. <clears throat> Type ways so that you will not feel bored during the sessions. Sometimes kasi even the speakers are so um so good no in teaching and in talking people can still feel it a uh, uh, bored. So type 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 the moment I say go you 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 you, you may Amen. start sharing you may start sharing now. Some say <laughs> Doing yoga and stretching. Very good, Yum. You do exercise. You do little exercise. Later, later you will learn. No, at the very beginning of our our sessions, meron tayong Zumba. Yes, my Zumba. <laughs> so they are now flooding the chat box with their many myriad ways. So dili sila mag-focus. Pay attention. Listen focus. Careful. Matulog ng maaga. Very good. <laughs> Correct. Taking notes and listening. Focus, listen properly, write questions about the lessons. Very good, boy. <coughs> um, taking notes and focus to the topic. You know, if general conferences in United States are broadcasted in the Philippines, what time is it here in the Philippines? Kadlawon. 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 So imagine many, because of the pandemic, stay at home, still watch even though it's Kadlawon. What makes them awake? You know what? Something I can share with you, and I shared this already to some. You write questions. Before you go to the session, you write questions. If you're so inspired of the Holy Spirit, prayed about it. That's what Elder Ehring said, President Ehring said here, oh, pray. Pray about it. Somewhere along the line of the talk, you will receive an inspiration to your question. No? Uninstall FB and Messenger during FSY muna. Um, or just Facebook because Messenger can sometimes be the means of the communication with the counselors. FB, yes. Instagram and Twitter, uninstall them first. Very good. And many others, you may read uh, them later. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, youth and counselors for, for those feedbacks. No? So I hope na nakita niyo yun and you would really apply them no? so that walang matutulog sa mga sessions natin. Ayan. So number four, youth and counselors, ask questions to the teachers. No, I know you. They, you will also have the time to to talk to them. No, and you can ask them questions. No, sa 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 sessions. Ayan. Many of them are relatively. I cannot. I I I hope this will not sound offensive, but you know, they have been here on earth for quite some time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to, see, to say the three-letter word. But they've been here on earth for quite some time, youth and counselors. It's, they are full of wisdom, in other they words. Are. Yes, they have They're answers. Amazing people. They have answers to your questions that uh, in, they'll, they'll, they'll answer you in a manner that you wouldn't expect them. Uh, yun palang answer. No? So ask questions. They have like how many hours to talk? Some, some of them An talk. hour and... 30, merong yes. one hour, at least an hour. Yes, and some will talk mm. one hour and 30. Mm. So, youth and counselors, ask questions. Really ask questions. Kanang, kanang, President Aduro, how did you know na Sister Aduro is your kanang, eternal companion na good? Stuff like that. And that they'll be able to, to share with you your, their experiences, their answers. Be strictly obedient to the rules. Pag sinabing, pag, you know the health protocols, my dear brothers and sisters. We don't need to put that in our presentation anymore. Just do that. Just do that. Our state presidents here, our district president here, will have will probably take the time to roam around the different chapels for those who are doing face to face. You see, you you try to observe. We have logistical uh, uh, staff identified in Oroqueta and here in Dipolo in Zamboanga. We are here, so we can monitor the different places. I hope we will not kind of like the disciplinarian and the guidance counselors of a school <laughs> no? who will reprimand. Um, wear the robe of accountability, kindly youth and leaders. I mean the counselors, wear the robe of accountability. Uh, move away one, what, one meter apart. Wear masks all the time. And I know this is what my uh, co-teacher said. She says, assistant science teacher. Uh, he said, most of the time that we don't, we, we feel complacent, kanang, 
wala tayo labot, but that's the time that we are most vulnerable to COVID-19 is whenever we're eating. Kasi when, whenever we're eating, what's happening? We don't have your mask, we don't, we don't have your, your, your face shield. No, everything is open. So, yan, dyan talaga tayo, no, na dili ta magpilit-pilit when eating as much as possible. Layo. Layo kung mga unta. Especially those who will be <coughs> staying in sa chapel, no? Ayaw jud mo magpilit-pilit while eating. Diligent pwede. Diligent Counselors pwede. and youth. No, so, yun. Some be are, obedient. Some are recessively carrying the virus, but hidden siya. So, oh, we do not know. Kanang mga asymptomatic, mga, mga naday sila carrier sila, pero wala sila gibati. So, we, we really don't know. So, as much as possible, we try to avoid. The same as the 2060 stripling warriors, the army of Hilaman, they were strictly obedient. Okay. They were obeying with exactness. Parents. Parents. Yeah. Ayan, parents. So, parents, sa mga parents na naadiri ka ron noon, sa mga parents na andito ngayon, ayan. At sa so, mga wala din. At sa mga wala din. <laughs> at saka sa mga wala din. Ayan. So, youth, tell your parents, pag wala, wala dito ang parents nyo, wake them up an hour or two earlier than FSY schedule. Um, Later, we'll be sharing with you the FSY schedule and it mostly, not mostly, Every day we start at 8 o'clock. So I hope an hour or two, 6 o'clock pa lang, no, you would wake up at 6 o'clock and prepare. Eat your breakfast and then by 7.30, <coughs> you would already be in your cell phone. Nasa cell phone na kayo, naka-ready na kayo no, to log in. Or laptop. Laptop. Or sa mga, especially dun sa mga face-to-face kasi susunduin kayo earlier no, para you would be on time by 8 o'clock sa chapel. Siguro mga 30 minutes before nasa chapel na din kayo. So, you really need to be prepared earlier. <clears throat> Allow you to participate fully in the FSY. So, yun ang yung favor namin sa mga parents, no? especially those who would be staying at home. No, na I hope you would really allow your youth, your children, no, to fully participate in this FSY as much as possible. No, na during the session, iwasan po natin na siguro utusan mo na sila. Um, if they, if you could give them the time to really be engaged no in this FSY because we know na para sa para sa ilaha mang pud gihapon ni no and it would greatly greatly improve no greatly help them improve no so i hope na the parents will be supportive with this and then number 3 facilitate the processing of spiritual ep- experiences of the kids no over dinner you may gather yes. them and ask ko uh, kumusta um, what did you learn? Or before sa breakfast, no, or just casual talks with your with your youth, no, and and kumusta hon sila kung unsa na ba ilang mga nakatunan so far sa FSY, no, that would um let your your children open up and let them know how how FSY is going on, no, what they what are they what are they lear- learning? Especially now, no. Kasi these are youth. Most of us know, according to research, that if you're in your youth age, you start to become aloof from your parents. Uh-huh. You start to become independent. No? And so the parents can, this time with FSY, start to draw and get back your children and sit with him or her or with them and say, Kung kumusta? How's your, how's your FSY doing? What are the things that you're learning? So ano, mag-serve ka na ng mission? So, so stuff like that. Um- Mga youth po, no? Tubag po sa parents. Ayaw po ka Tubag na. Tubag na ayo. Oh, correct ayaw. response. Yeah. Dili po ka na. Si mama o okay sige pangutan na. <laughs> okay lang man. How's your FSY? Okay lang man. Nindot man. Nalami man to ilang pagkaon. <laughs> so you, you may you may share what insights you got. The new things that you received. Revelations that you were enlightened by. These things. Next. Assist. Parents assist by providing a FSY corner or area. Isang Pajag or payag rajud atong balay. Sa side good corner. No? Space here. Put a small table. Put a chair. Where your <coughs> child or can can really experience step is why in that corner. Give him or her or them that space. Um, because they need that. Na dili sila mag-distorbo. No? Na they can 
fully engage no sa, sa ating FSY sessions. Sa, sa number five, provide an ambience in the home that would invite the Holy Spirit. Yeah. For those really who would be staying sa balay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, kung anad ta nga, mag, magsagit-sagit sa balay, dagang iro tingali, Dili man pa di i-close ang mouth sa iro. Ang bot lang. Basta just try to really provide an ambience in the home that would invite the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> you may start by playing hymns. No? Play hymns. Uh, do meditation. My sister, Gladie Mayo, is one of the um, head aces. Uh, she does meditation every morning. So do meditation before and even after uh, the sessions. Yes. We're moving on to the counselor's Head ACs, ACs, and we'll talk about uh, your accountabilities. Yes. <clears throat> so, number one, remember? Listen, listen, diba? head ACs. Counselors, ACs you are trained. So, deliver with much edification whatever is learned in the training. What do you mean by edification? What is edification? When you edify, you add up. Yes. You enlighten, you build, you strengthen. So, That's what all of us, we are supposed to be doing out from the training that we've got and not to, <clears throat> not to destroy or demean anything or anyone. By our actions, we are supposed to, whatever we do, whatever we say, encourage, encourage edify, enlighten, build up, construct others, be humble, um, <clears throat> those things. Yeah, When you're edified, no, you would also want to edify Your, your youth, no, your counselor group. So do that. No, you were trained to deal with, with your youth. Hmm. So do that. When no. problems arise along the way, how do you deal that with much edification? Why? If, if you have like problems along the way? Calma lang. Calma lang. Calma lang. Uh, relax, relax lang. lang. Relax, relax lang. <laughs> <laughs> And then what else? Be optimistic. Look at the solution right away. Try to... Yeah. to weigh things down. The problem, what's the problem? Analyze the problem. And then think of the solution. Do not dwell on the problem. No, but think of a solution right away. Yeah. No blaming. Stop blaming. And more importantly, no complaining. Stop complaining. Second. Yeah. Stand as the best epitome of the rule. Start on time. So, ibig sabihin, hindi kayo yung mag, hindi kayo mag, hindi kayo yung mag, to start na magbe-break ng rules. No, you need to set a good example to your youth. So, be the epitome of the rules. Yeah. Number three, you are being looked up to by the youth. Inspire. Gaya ang December 1, no? Remember that the success of FSY is in your hands. Remember no? that. Bugat kayo, no? <laughs> But that is true, no? You are the ones dealing with the youth. Nag-ML si kuya. Nag-ML siya. Mag-ML po ko. O nag-ML si ate. <laughs> During break. Mag-ML po ko. Nag-ML man si kuya. Which is not supposed to be the case. Yes. It's the youth look up to us. And they look up to us. So make sure to be the best example that you can be to our youth. Get to know your youth. No, I know that you are already doing that. And no, salute. sa mga efforts efforts no makita na ko uh, my phone ang uban nga message dili na nako mabasa kasi grabe ang GC no sa tanan nga mga companies sa tanan nga mga counselor group na we can we can see we, we scan through your your conversation with your youth and how you are already engaged no sa mga youth nato so i know that you already know your youth But get to know them more, especially now, uh, especially during the FSY week on get to know kung ano ba talaga yung mga natutunan ng mga youth nyo. No? And build on that. No? Build on that. Ayan. So number five, stay composed, especially in their situations. Responsive versus reactive. Yun yung gina-explain ni Brother Gino kanina. Kung may problema, huwag agad isipin yung problema. But isipin natin yung solusyon sa problema. Respond and not react. <clears throat> Respond and not react. There's a difference. Respond and we don't react. Yeah. So number six. See you next Sunday for the counselor orientation. Session directing couple devotional with your counselors and co-counselor planning. So 
we would still be seeing you on Sunday, counselors, no, for our pre FSY training. Last na yun, and then we, we will paplanchahin na talaga natin lahat lahat, no, before we start with our FSY on Monday. We would send you the link later, no, and the time kung kailan tayo mag meet on Sunday. Yes. Schedule. Really, really quickly, we'll run through the schedule. And so we will introduce the teachers already uh, next. The first <clears throat> day, this, everything starts at 8 o'clock with FSY orientation. It's 8 to 8.30. And then we will talk um, and so on and so forth. Let's just provide a small chart. Because the elder Savade says, provide a small chart with FSY background. Na abasa kit. We don't have any elder. elder. Um, note that we will note on that and then we will talk about that. Elder Savage. Yeah. Oh, that's a private message. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So it starts at 8 and then ends at 3 o'clock on the first day. Yes. Our teachers here, we will, we will note it uh, this later. Day two, for day two, yeah. we will start at 7.45 to 8 with, with, with Zumba. So we will do Zumba. Zumba exercise. Okay. Hence, the, the teachers will also do Zoom, Zumba. <laughs> There's a better, we also do Zumba with us. And, and everybody else who are here with us will do the Zumba at the same time. 7.45 on day three, uh, along with our teachers. Wait lang. If you could see no, sa last portion, meron tayong FB Live. No? And this is Nag-start na to, ang FB Live natin. If you would notice sa page, youth, if you're visiting the page, every 6 o'clock in the evening, nag fb Live yung ating mga ates and kuyas. Ayan. Meron silang mga games. pag-games, pakulo, pa-question and answer portion. So if you are, no, if you are online, no, I know it's always at 6 o'clock. Tama ba, um, si Sir Vivian, Brother Angelo? Pero usually, yun yung schedule nila. Eh. 6 o'clock ng gabi, they, they start, they, they are already doing live, no? And it's in preparation for the live shows natin on our FSY week, no? Because I know variety show, musical, and theater show would be live sa FB. Broadcasted, broadcasted live. live sa FB. So lahat ng ginawa ninyo, nag-perform yung mga youth videos and all, will be aired on Facebook live so you can invite your friends no classmates classmates and send it to for example parents. Ipolog City um Ipolog City Ukay Ukay group page send it there <laughs> <laughs> send the video to Oroqueta um Plantitos and Plantitos group page send it there so the world will see everybody's talents yeah diba makita yung inyong <coughs> talents and how amazing you are no sa pagsayaw sa pagkanta sa pag-acting yes our teachers know their schedules already with the letter that we sent and they're so excited to be with us on the fifth day along with our teachers is a member of the area presidency is this pronounced elder choi yeah or choi elder choi will be with us on a uh, friday choi elder choi choi Goodly, we will not read the bio of Elder. <laughs> it's somebody else. So the one who will read the bio of Elder Che, pronounce it correctly. <laughs> okay. Fourth, we will introduce to you now the teachers. So this is how we'll do it. We will we will show the pictures and then we'll we'll stop sharing our screen and then we'll allow our teachers to talk for a minute or two one or two minutes only to share. Um, what do they expect from all of us? We will start with our very own brother and sister, Aban. Lolo and Lola. Lola. <laughs> they are going to talk about applying self-reliance principles. This is something we really need. Yes. Uh, self-reliance principles. Um, brother and sister, Aban. Hi. Yes. Uh... <laughs> Good, good evening, brothers and sisters. Uh, just very quickly, I'd like to, uh, what comes into my mind is uh, 
uh, in addition to what has been said kanina about the uh, teachers yeah and uh, the youth uh, i was taught by uh, a a couple missionary one time na uh, they were taught though by El president airing at the mtc sabi daw niya na uh, you have to participate to authorize the holy ghost to teach you if you don't participate by asking questions or making comments then uh, i'm afraid sabi niya you are not authorizing the holy ghost to teach you because you have to give so that you can receive so by give and you shall receive so suggestion ko uh, to the degree that you want to learn and to have fun it is dependent upon your degree of participation. So participate really, ask questions. You know, the learning should not be dependent upon other people, uh, you know, the way they, they deliver the, the, the message. Uh, speaker or delete. No, it's dependent upon you because the real teacher is the Holy Ghost. Yeah, so sister, maybe um, you can say something. Yes, for, for the FSY leaders, particularly for the counselors, you will be in front of your participants for how many hours? And uh, kids are always kids. There would be some challenges uh, dealing with the youth. But I would like to ask to ask you for a moment for um, try to, to to view them or treat them, the youth participants, as your own children, and uh, do all your best to to exercise unconditional love. This experience will will teach you or rather prepare you to be better parents someday. Yan lang po. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next we have one of Zamboanga's legendary, Sister Laila Potenso. She is Zamboanga State Young Women President and she will discuss with us the Embrace the Children New Program. Mama Lai? Good evening! Maayong gabi sa tanan! Buenas noches! I would say the FSY hit is on. From the first speakers up to the last, galing sa, ano ba yon? Yung sa SDC, sa, ano brother Ra? Logistics. Sa logistics hanggang ngayon. So I would expect the youth and the single adults to take heart. Everything you will learn in the five days activity that you will listen to the Spirit and take action to what the Spirit will prompt you. I expect you to participate in every activity because the leaders put so much effort in this activity and money, of course. Always remember that this activity is, not, is for you and it is not for us. This is to prepare you for the realities in life. To all the parents, mga ginikanan, nga naadiri karong gabi eh. To our youth, may you continue to encourage and support our youth for a greater heights. Thank you. Muchisimas gracias. Daghang salamat. A todos, no? Good luck to everyone. Hope to see you all. Maayong gabi eh sa inyong tanan. Thank you. Thank you, Mama Lai. Ayan. Up next. Our amazing teacher, one of the Area 70, Elder Norman Insong, who would be talking to us about life priorities to include seminary, full-time mission, and temple marriage. Hi, good Elder evening, Insong. brothers and sisters. I will be teaming up with Sister Laila on this issue. Now, priorities are priorities. But why should there be an order to these priorities? See you then. Wow. Thank you very much. Very beautiful. Nindot mong kayo ang kuan, ang advertisement. No, that's perfect. Yeah. I, mean, that's, I never thought. Can why you, should there be an, an order? order of priorities? Okay. Why don't you do everything at the same time? Yeah, no? so there should be an order. There should no? be an order. We exactly. are a church of order, so our priority should also be in order. So you would. Abangan natin yan. Elder Saavedra, sorry, not Elder Saavedra, Elder Madriaga, one of the Area 70, is not here with us. But he will be talking about hear him through daily prayer, scripture study, and daily repentance. He shared and said, on one occasion, after telling the parable of the sower, Jesus Christ said, he that hath ears to hear, 
let him hear. I encourage the youth to pray for strong desire to hear Heavenly Father's voice talking to you in private and customized manner according to your need as you attend every session of FSY. I testify that he will grant it unto you if you will ask it sincerely in faith as Jesus promised. Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. Recording and following the promptings from the Holy Ghost as it speaks to heart and mind will enable you to reap a hundredfold of blessings and opportunities. To the leaders of youth, counselors, and head ACs and ACs, may God bless you for your example to the youth by not being wary in well-doing and helping them grow their foundation of faith and testimony of the Savior as they are called upon to perform a great work in gathering Israel. Sister Vivian, may you help me, um, <clears throat> uh, what's this? Remove annotations. annotation for participants. Thank you. Let's proceed to the next. Our very own. The one our, who walked with us too. Yes, the one who walked with us too, no? <laughs> Elder Maximo Saavedra. No? May also gabi. The presidency. May gabi sa tanan, Brother the Maximo. Brother Max. <laughs> area presidency uh, daw. I, Hala. I, I, Hala. Area 70, <laughs> DI Area 70. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hi, <laughs> may gabi. Well, I'm going to talk about the covenant path. And so uh, what I expect of our youth and also the counselors coordinators will be to think about uh, what lies ahead of you through the covenant path. No? Envision yourself five years, 10 years, 15 years, and more years to come because we're going to make a timeline. So at this time, think about your future already, 2022, what happens to you and so forth and so on, along with the covenants and the ordinances you will receive along the way, terminating and ending in the temple. So that's one of the part of the covenant path. At the same time, you might also prepare by uh, expected to really uh, make a letter, uh, dear future self or dear future me. And that will help you be able to uh, envision yourself and then kanagaling mag plot na nimo ang imong covenant path. No? And uh, that's it. Go, 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 FSOI. Let's enjoy the time. Ayan, thank you. So youth, I hope you take note of that, no? Sa mga assignments ni Elder Saavedra, no? A note to self, no? After many years, all our teachers are very powerful. Think Ama of your future self. Another very powerful teacher that we have, very powerful, so powerful, uh, is our president. Our former Midaval Mission <laughs> President, President Pedro... Um, Aduru, and that he will be talking with Sister Carmela Aduru in, in that day. President Aduru, Elder Aduru? Yep. Uh, mayong gabi sa inyong tanan. Mayong gabi. Mayong gabi. I, I miss Mindanao area, Zamboanga, uh, Ozami, ano, Oriqueta, and Pagandian. Nakarating na ako dyan. Dipolog, Dipolog, Elder. Okay. Thank you so much for the invite, Sister Aduru and I. Uh, to be one among the speakers where we talk about missionary work and I love this work. Hanggang ngayon, missionaries pa rin kami. Kaya nalagay namin Elder Sister Aduru dyan because we are serving as uh, service mission leaders for young service missionaries that uh, was into place last year, last October last year. So meron na yan. Meron na kami sa Zamboanga si Elder Naingi. 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 Meron na kami dyan. So isasama na namin yan. Uh, hindi lang yung mga health, hindi lang yung mga full-time missionaries, so, wala nang full-time missionaries yung culture lighting or teaching mission, uh, young service mission, at saka yung uh, uh, ano ba tawag doon? Senior, Senior service mission. Nagpatlo ng mission sa atin. Kaya uh, kami natutuwa, excited kami kasi alam namin na yung future ng simbahan ay nakasalalim sa inyo. At one year to four years from now, ask yourself, where will you be? Yung mga 17 years kay year from now, sana kayo. Yung mga 30, 14 years old, 4 years from now, sana kayo. E dapat wala na kayo dyan sa mga units nyo, then doon na kayo sa mission field. Kasi kulang na kulang sa missionary, alam ko yung Elder Nisongyan. Alam na yung Elder Nisongyan, meron isang mission yung president, nakausap ko sa araw lang, si President Craig, sa Kawayan. I have 67 missionaries, Elder Duro. Then we'll be leaving soon. So I will be left with uh, uh, 57. One will be coming, so I will be having 58 missionaries. We need more missionaries. So very timely itong uh, activity, na, activity natin, FSY. 
And hope and pray that you will come with this with the Lord. And please, sabi nga ni Brother Ronald, ask questions. Ihanda niyo mga tanong niyo, tanong niyo kung ano preparation kailangan sa missionary work. And with the, with the help of God, and hope, and si Sister Dura and I will be able to give an answer to all your questions. Thank you. Looking forward for that day. So excited kami na makamita kayo ulit ano yung mga familiar faces, no? And uh, it brings back memories. Maraming salamat kay brother and sister Kalumpang ano for uh, tracking us down. <laughs> Sa nakita nila kami yung hideout namin, ano? So. Uh, meron siyang sinabi sa amin na to give a sentence or two no, on what to expect the youth and their leaders in FSY. Para sa akin, ano, expect them to know fully and sincerely that they can always count on Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. Especially at this time. Very perilous time to sa atin. Ano, we can always count on them. No matter if they aren't that good enough as they think or have been that far away from them, our loving Father and the Good Shepherd are mindful of them always. They are never cast out. It is for this purpose that atonement was wrought, and when things go wrong, and when everyone fails them, Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ will always be there for sure for them. So, ang lahat ng ito ay iniiwan ko sa pangalan ni Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Elder and Sister Aduro. In pala, kaya Elder, kasi nasa calling pa rin pala sila ng missionary work. So, very timely, no? Na sila talaga yung na, natawag natin to be... Nahanap talaga natin yeah. sila. So, talagang hinanap, siya, <laughs> hinanap ni Brother Chino sa Facebook. Wala tayong contact number, so hanapin natin sila sa Mag Facebook. Nag-message na din ako sa mga kakilala ko sa Manila. Hanapin si President Aduro at si <laughs> Aduro. <laughs> Sa Manila. We're so grateful no, for giving us this opportunity na you would really spend time to talk to us no, for about missionary work. We're looking forward to this. You and counselors, I hope you're looking forward to this, no, to, to listen to, to Elder and Sister Aduro. And I hope you heard it right. They said, the future of the church is in your hands. Yes. You, the future of the church is in your hands. It's actually right and true. Perfectly. Now, who's holding church positions right now? Who's, who's magnifying callings for the youth? Us, na tayo yung sinabihan before when we were youth that the future of the church is in our hands. It's in our hands now. now. No, and so it will be in have. their hands Soon. in the future. Yes, youth, you will, the future of the church is in your hands. Diba? Yung mga 13, 14 years old daw, in four years time, no, dapat wala na daw kayo, hindi na kayo nakaupo dyan sa mga... Wala na kayo sa Oroqueta, yeah, wala kayo sa Dipolo, wala kayo sa Sambuanga. You will be serving your full-time missions already, no, and be able to achieve yung goal ng ating area, no, the 4,600 missionaries. One very powerful teacher that we also invited um, to address to us was our Oroqueta State, former Oroqueta former. State President. Um, <clears throat> he will, it's President uh, Hurley and Gito, and that he will talk to us about the importance of keeping the Sabbath day holy and partaking sacrament weekly. We were talking and then President and Gito is just so excited to talk to everybody, particularly about this um, topic, uh, sacrament, uh, partaking the sacrament weekly, and looking forward to the day of the Sabbath. Is President Enguito here with us? President, Nakadri? Might not be here, but he shared something to me earlier. He said that I want a youth participants to be valiant. Natsabakano, valiente. Sa Bisaya? Isug. Isug. And true of their testimony. So be isug in your testimonies. Of the things you will learn from this historical FSY. Yeah. Historical, <coughs> Shanu, because this would be the first FSY. ever FSY for Zamboanga Dipolog and Oroqueta. It would be re really meaningful, no? a meaningful FSY, because it is a first sa, sa atin. No? Yung iba nag, nag, nag FSY na before, but for us, no, this would be the first ever FSY that we will be having. And I hope na. Diba? Ito sa sinabi ni, ni Brother Indy ito, 
na we would be valiant and true to our testimony, especially the things that we'll be learning for our FSY. Aside from our um, stars, our teachers, we will be... Am I sharing my full screen? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, we, will, we will also be visited by these people. If you know them, then they will also go with, they will also talk to us, Nephi, I guess, images. Sha, <laughs> who is this man? What is his name? I forgot. Is his name Jackson Wonderworken? Yes. Yeah, he will be also talking to us during our FSY event. Other, we have also special Marat guests. Mga artista. Um, Ayan. Artistahin na yung mga teachers natin. Correct. Mga speakers natin. Artistahin na sila. So, of course, we will also be inviting other artistahin. Correct. Aside from Tayo Rin. Tayo artista rin We also have him who will be talking to us. We also have Mikey Misalucha. I guess this is the child of Lani Misalucha. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> They will be talking to us you Exciting, Misa Lucha. So, are you the one who is singing? Yung nakikita yeah. nyo kapag merong, anong um, tawag nun, yung sa music? Youth, youth, youth music, music sa concert, uh -huh. something in the church. So, she will be talking to us too. Daday Lucena and Jan Altea. So, we have some artists who will be visiting the FSY as well. <clears throat> so, they, you would be witnessing them, no? During our FSY. Di ba exciting youth? Ako excited na talaga ako. Ikaw, Brother Gino. I am so excited. Yeah. Oh, so in closing, <laughs> we've been talking so much. In closing. Yeah, we would like to share the 2022 youth team. No, kasi pumasok na yung yung youth team, no. Matagal pa yung yung ano, yung next year pero pumasok na yung youth team, no. Yan. Yung youth team natin would be found in <clears throat> Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6. No? Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. So whatever things no, that you are going through right now, I know magkalayo man tayo, no? we, we, we are miles apart, Zamboga, Dipolog, and Oroqueta. But and we may not see each other and we don't know what's going Aning nangyayari diyan sa inyo, anong nangyayari dito sa amin no but no just trust in the Lord no with all our heart no and he will direct our paths no it's amazing how faith can move mountains no just merely yung faith na meron tayo faith ay yung, yung faith natin can bring about miracles no we just need to have to trust to have faith in our savior Jesus Christ no This is his work, no? This is the Lord's work. We are doing the Lord's work, no? And we know that it can bring about miracles to all, all of us if we truly, no? If we participate in this work na meron siya. Pag nag-participate tayo fully dito sa FSY, I know that it would bring miracles. Brothers and sisters, um, uh, I and my wife understand fully that we have youth who are struggling. Also, we understand that we have counselors, single adults who are struggling. And that even, even though we're struggling our small works for FSY, they are all reckoned, counted uh, by our Heavenly Father. And just as stated here, this theme was selected as a natural evolution from the 2021 theme. So if it's an evolution, it tells us a transition of doing small works regardless of how deep things are nowadays we know that we have counselors single adults who feel like they're not better enough or they're not good enough they feel like just they do not have jobs we have counselors who do not have work we have counselors who are struggling uh, with with different forms of crisis we have youth who are abused physically abused who are who are who have met problems with their emotions and so on and so forth regardless to all of this so as we are doing small works small works to build up ourselves and the, and, and the church of god and so as we need to trust the lord with this process he shall direct our paths we know that these things are true in jesus christ's name amen amen
Thank you, uh, Brother Gino Kalumpang, Sister Amunaya Kalumpang, for all the instructions that you just have shared to us here. And to uh, Brother Rafael De Sosa and Sister Kathleen De Sosa for their uh, logistical updates. And to all of our FSY teachers for their uh, short messages. Before we close, we uh, we will uh, we, let's hear uh, uh, Elder In Song for his uh, closing remarks, and after which, kakanta uh, tayo ng closing hymn natin entitled "A Great Work," and our closing prayer will be given to us by uh, Sister Maika Tanques. Brothers and sisters, magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. I am honored to be speaking uh, tonight. I understand this will be our last devotional for parents and, and youth for in preparation for our FSY. I'm also honored to be in the presence of uh, former president and sister Aduro. I honor them. I love uh, this couple very much. Uh, when we meet after the mission sa Quezon City, when the stake was reorganized, they invited us in their home. Kaya lang nagdali mamiguli sa bataan, so we declined. Sayang kaayo because we know the food that we will be missing. <laughs> All right, brothers and sisters, I may not be as good as President Aduro in sharing the scripture. But in the Old Testament, if you will recall, begins with in the beginning when the earth was created, step by step from day one hanggang day six, at the end of every day, those who were part of the creation, the Savior, announced that it was very good. So tonight, as I witness the unfolding of the events, uh, Morag unfolding na no because of what we have heard. I say that they were very good. And I cannot see any reason why this will not succeed. Now I recall it was Brigham Young who first said and was re-echoed later on by the late President Gordon B. Hinckley when the question was asked, what is the best time to pray? Both of them answered their question and said the best time to pray is when you don't feel like praying. So brothers and sisters, I recall I have an experience. Nung ako isang missionary, a young missionary in the field, I testify to you really that ingon bito ganina si your grandfather Aban <laughs> made mention that when you participate by asking questions, you're actually asking and giving the Holy Ghost the authority to give you the revelations you need. Today, I stand as a witness that it is very true. As I made mention, a young missionary uh, in my second area, we meet a sibling, statlo, dalawang babae and isang lalaki, they are already orphaned. They no longer have father and mother. The eldest sister is the one kanang, uh, helping the three of them to survive. And siguro we were mga nasa six sets of missionaries na ibinigay sa amin to teach. And mi pakulo pa ngayong nag-refer sa amin eh. Sabi nila, elders, Kapag mabinyagan nyo itong magkapatid na ito, bibigyan namin kayo ng ice cream. Kasi nga, nga nalaman pala namin uh, na itong magkapatid na ito are singers in their own church. Magaling kumanta. And hardcore. Okay, kaibigan nila. So we start teaching. We felt the spirit in our very first discussion. Yung mission namin uh, had asked us that after every discussion, 
we challenge the investigator to be baptized into the church. Can you imagine? Yun prate at the end, we invite them to be baptized into the church. And we invited them to be baptized into the church. Tumawa lang yung magkapatid. And they will not answer us. And then, mag, magsiset kami ng appointment na babalik. Ang parating sagot ng panganay is, pag narito kami. Okay? Then you can teach. Hindi kami makabig, makakuha-kuha. Like, halimbawa sabihin namin, can we come back on Wednesday at 5? Ang sagot parati is, pag narito kami, then you can teach. It was my first time to train up a companion. Uh, so pag uwi namin, kasi nga we cannot get a, a yung appointment, pag uwi namin sa bahay, sabi ko sa companion ko, pasensya siya kasi uh, ang, uh, brand new missionary siya. Pagkatapos namin mag sabi ko sa kanya, balik tayo dun. Sa, saan? And doon, sabi nila, pag narito kami, turo kayo. <laughs> Balik kami. Knock namin ang door. Siyak yung, yung, ano, yung magkapatid. Narito kayo. Oh, and dito pala kayo. Turo kami. <laughs> Can you imagine sa isang araw, dalawang turo kami? Kasi nga, ang sagot nila, pag narito kami, turo kayo. Now, I was so engrossed and I think the Spirit had been helping me in this area that I challenged them and I put the date of their baptism. Literally, I said, on this particular day, you will be baptized. And they never say yes. And they also do not say no. A day before the set date of baptism, we ask our district leader to come and interview the candidate for baptism. The candidate that never said yes and no. Pagdating noong district leader for an interview, in-interview yung magkapatid. Nasa labas lang kami ng bahay, we were waiting. Paglabas ng interviewer, umiiyak yung district leader namin. Umiiyak din yung in-interview. And you know what? They were baptized on the date na na-schedule namin. And you know why? Sabi nung babae, yung panganay, sabi niya, Elder, sabi niya, I just did not tell you I was very proud in my heart. Sabi niya, after you left, on that night, I prayed on the challenge, on the premise of knowing the Book of Mormon is true. And then she said, I dream every night of the same person giving me the book and said, the book is true. This every night. And so they were baptized, brothers and sisters. Two years ago, before I was transferred to Bataan, I was attending a meeting sa area for seminaries and institute. And I was in the hotel where mga missionaries are coming in for MTC. It was breakfast time when I meet a couple of missionaries. And I talked to them, asked them from where they are. Mi isang elder doon, sabi niya, he came from itong place na to, sabi ko. I was assigned doon sa place na yon, sabi ko. When were you, uh, sabi ko sa kanya, and sabi niya, uh, yung parents niya were baptized itong year na to on this place. Sabi ko, I was there. Uh, tapos sabi niya, nanay ko was baptized that particular time, sabi niya, by an elder from Zamboanga. Nung sinabi niya yung pangalan, yun yung nanay, yun yung elders, eldest sister nung tinuruan namin. And I felt so good to see anak niya went to serve a mission. Oh, my brothers and sisters, I want you to know that this is really God's work. 
this will never stop for no unhallowed hand can stop the work from progressing. And you are called to embark. I have done my share. Many of your counselors, assistant coordinators, coordinators, your SDC, your district and stake leaders have done their share. Now is your time to shine and help the work from progressing. I love you, my brothers and sisters. I wish I can be with you physically. I testify, oh, brothers and sisters, the church is really true. God lives. Jesus is the very Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. 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 a work to do that's been prepared for you long before the world was made you have the strength you need to cross the stormy sea that you will find along the way he is your refuge from the storm and you will never be alone this is a great work that we've been given this is a part of his grand design so don't be weary he will be with you and he will lead you through the night in this great this great work, this is a great work. If you give him your heart, he'll show you who you are. And all his hopes and dreams for you. And when you follow him, the great work will begin. And perfect. His grand design. So don't be weary. He will be with you. And he will lead you through the night. In this great work. This great work. This is a great work.
our Heavenly Father, nagpasalamat ka ayaw mi sa uh, maayong nga panahon na hindi hatag sa amo akaroon. Nagpasalamat ka ayaw mi nga na-held na mo karon ang uh, Zamdep Oral. Thank you! Aban, brother, sister, Aban, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, so much. Uh, brother, brother Sabedra, thank you. Thank you, 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 para yes. magano open ito sige pa sa magulat ko sa akin na lagi pa pa gid din hello thank you digot ko na ta na ta na huli na ta sige bye bye thank you good night good night bye bye good night bye bye kinsa na di panggutom na mo di pa mo mag leave Freshman. Open mouth and libre. Libre dinner mo anha mi. Okay. Langalan mo kay akong ipadalas hangin ang pagkaon. Bye, DJ. Bye-bye na. Bye-bye na. Mr. Vivian, thank you. Thank you, Mama Lai. Bye-bye. See you, FSY. Eddie Bird. Doom. Ivy. Eight days to love. Bye bye. Bye bye. Eddie Bird, Princess, Gisil, Nope. Bisa. Nope. Arvin. Makalisang family. Thank you, Win Clark. Win. Asal si J. Eddie J. Brother Win Clark, apa asal ka? Ada lubang kau masuk ke mana si J? Oh ya ada. Siapa? Musta. Okay lang po. Sorry lang yan po. Sige lang. Walay delta din ha. Kuhaan lang. Alpha, Omega, Kapakapa. Wala pa yung delta. Mother Wintrack, itype mo lang nimo. Tagaasa ka. Sige na. Ama ko kayo duha ka. Youth, ane. Sure mo.